have a house that big? Sure. <laughs> you gonna buy? You gonna buy it? Mm, you buy it. Look, all you gotta do is just become queen of a country. So I don't know what's holding you back. No, it's a wearing off, but. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekers YouTube channel. Today we're in Bangkok, Thailand, and today we are going to go check out the Grand Palace, which is directly behind me. It's gonna be a whole lot of fun. We're gonna learn a lot of history, a lot of interesting facts about the Grand Palace, about the royal family. So make sure you stick around and check that out. And then after that, we're gonna walk over to Wat Arun, which is the uh, Buddhist temple, which is directly across the street. And it's one of the most famous temples in all the world, the most famous one in all of Bangkok. So we're super excited to see that too. So make sure you stick around to the end and watch that. So let's go. super excited we are finally here so uh, yes we're gonna check out the grand palace today uh, this is also where the emerald buddha is and then like Louis said we're gonna head over to uh, Wat Arun and see the reclining buddha so it should be a good time let's go all right so we got our tickets they are 500 baht a piece for foreigners if you're if you're a thai national they're free make sure you get your tickets whenever you are inside yeah make sure you get your tickets inside there's a lot of scammers outside trying to sell tickets trying to sell a whole bunch of stuff just uh, ignore, ignore all that the, the the key phrase is my owl that means no thank you no one no one all right guys so we are currently in uh the section where the uh ml buddhist uh you see these statues so these are the demon guards there's six pairs throughout the uh, throughout this area and most of them face the temple yeah so they're guarding the emerald buddha against evil spirits okay all right so behind me is the golden stupola this is um this was built during the reign of king rama the fourth in 1855 and it actually holds uh, relics of buddha himself this is very culturally significant and uh, highly important to the buddhist faith so try and be respectful and lewis mentioned that this is actually gold or it's not like painted it's actual gold so before uh, at one point in time it was painted whitewashed it was whitewashed so now it's gold you see some elephants here and then over to the left is you see a model of Angkor Wat it's pretty cool and what you're seeing here behind uh, like this the scrim is at the Buddhist library uh, and it holds uh, the Buddhist scriptures um, and it was built in 1789 I guess this is the Pantheon uh, originally this was housed to hold the Emerald Buddha but apparently that it was it was too small for their ceremonies, uh, so it was vacant. Uh, it caught fire in 1903, and then it was refurbished. Oh, there you go. It's beautiful. All right, guys. So here is the um, temple of the Imam Buddha. There are certain times you're able to come through, walk through, and see your see it for yourself. Now, fun, uh, fun fact: the king changes the costumes of the Buddha three times a year. So he has three different costumes: uh, one for summer, one for the rainy season, and one for winter. And on the first day of each of those seasons, the king shows up and changes the costume. Yeah. Uh, the, the Buddha itself is fairly small. Um, what did I say? I think it's 66, it's 66 centimeters tall, so not very tall. Mm -hmm. uh, inches wise, that's like, I don't know, like about around two feet. Mm -hmm. It's around two feet tall. It was first discovered in 14, 1464. It spent some time in different parts of the peninsula before it ended up here. Mm -hmm. And so 1464, that was actually before Columbus set sail for the Americas. Or what he thought was India actually turned out to be the Americas. All right, so they did say no photos of the Buddha, but they do allow you to take photos out here, and you can clearly see the, food, the Buddha in the background. And I think what they're trying to avoid is just photos of people worshiping. You can see him right there in the center of the screen. So he's currently wearing his rainy season attire. Mm -hmm. So it must have just recently got changed. Yeah. I know. No, we're at the end of the rainy season, so the king will be here soon to change it to winter. <laughs> winter. So here you can see, this is the summer attire, it's the rainy attire, and that's the winter attire. So he puts more clothes on throughout the year. <laughs> well, you gotta bundle up, it gets cold in the winter time, right? All right, so we just moved inside these doors here, uh, directly after leaving the 
squat of the Emerald Buddha. And what we're looking at now is the throne room. They actually have the doors closed so we can't see inside there, but they do have a photograph of what it does look like inside there. So this is the royal palace. This is the king stayed, he stayed here until, 19, 19, until the mid-1940s. Uh, this throne room here was actually used up until 1982. In this throne room is where the king would meet um, the colonized leaders of the other countries nearby. So one thing I did learn the other day is that uh, the word Thai actually means free. So the Thai land, Thai people, the, the free land, the free people. Uh, and that's because the rest of the countries around this area were colonized by either French or, or in, uh, French or English at, at different times. And the Thai remained independent of those, colonized, of those colonies. So interesting fact about these statues, they come from China, and this was actually during, uh, when they used to trade with China, they would send them rice and teak wood in exchange, they would get back porcelain and tiles, and they would send these statues back with the Thai traders to use as ballast in the ships. All right, so behind me is the royal courtyard. This is the courtyard here for the Grand Palace. It has some beautiful trees. And so this was the residence of the king up until, like I said, the 1940s. Um, basically what we found is that most of this over here, is, this part was for ceremonies and for religious purposes. He has a special room in the back there where he goes on his birthday to get absolved of his sins. They also have uh, another room over there where the monks come daily to make holy water to absolve the king of his sins. And they also sprinkle holy water across the entire royal palace grounds every day. And final thing was in that building back there, he actually has two throne rooms where he would meet d different dignitaries of the day. What do you think of these trees though? Man? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Look like some out of a Dr. Seuss movie. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, they're cool. Mm -hmm. I like them. And another fun fact, there's a little balcony up top right there. And that is where the king would sometimes give speeches and um, meet small crowds uh, that they, so that he would, small crowds here, he could give speeches to them. Said also that they would open up that window uh, in the winter time to get a cool breeze in. And they could also use it in the case of emergencies. Can I have a house that big? Sure. <laughs> you, gonna buy, you gonna buy it? Mm, you buy it. Look, all you gotta do is just become queen of a country, so... I don't know what's holding you back. No, it's a bearing off, but... <laughs> yeah, she just said I was holding her back. <laughs> she upgraded. <laughs> Alright, so I don't remember the name of this building, but I think this is where they said that the king would come to relax. Just notice, too, these little dragon lamps are the exact same lamps. They're the exact same lamps that they have at, uh, Tampa Watt. Watt Tampa. The exact same lamps that they have at Watt Tampa. If you haven't seen that video, link in the description below, because that's where we announced our Thailand trip. What do we tell people to do during when we announce our Thailand trip? Subscribe? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to try that again? No. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us at the Grand Palace. Honey, what was your favorite part? Um, well, I mean, the Emerald Buddha is like the most famous and sacred part of it. That was mm -hmm. neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, seeing the palace is always cool. Yeah. You know, it's not every day you get to see a place you know, where royalty lives or has lived. Yeah, cool. All right, over to Water Run. Let's go. Woo, goodness. <laughs> what are we doing right now? All right, so we're about to get on the hop on, hop off boat tour. Basically, we're just doing one stop. It's yeah. 30 baht per person, mm -hmm. uh, so about a dollar each okay. to get across the get across the river here over to uh, Wata Room, which I can see right there in the distance. <laughs> they don't waste much time, do they? That's where we're going. And there's the palace we were just at. That was a cool day. All right, guys, so here we are at uh, Wata Room. We're gonna do a quick walk around and head on out. So that was, without a doubt, the fastest boat I've ever been on in my life. <laughs> Especially with so many people. Yeah, watch out for the sandbags and the dam. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. All right, honey, where are we and what has happened? All right, so we're at Water Room. Just took the boat over here. That was super quick and easy. Mm -hmm. um, tickets here are 100 baht each, so around $3. And they come with uh, little tiny bottles of water. Oh, nice. So, bonus. Bonus. Yeah. Like bonus. All right, so Wada Run is also known as the Temple of Dawn, and it was uh, built back in the 1600s, so over 300 years ago. 
Oh, honey. Beautiful mosaic work all the way up. So that's quite the hike to get up here. These steps are massive. They're about a foot tall each. <laughs> and the stairs keep going. Well, sadly, they don't let you go up any further. Yeah, those are some pretty steep stairs. Yeah. It's a narrow, it's a narrow little platform up here too. Right. All right. So it is a super beautiful temple, um, but even though there's not very many people here, it feels very crowded because it's just such a small area. There's very few places where you can actually stand, and so everybody's kind of packed in real tight. Um, yeah. Not. I wouldn't say the best experience, honestly. Just feel like it's people on top of people. Mm -hmm. So I hear what you're saying. I think once you're like up on the temple around the first perimeter, that was pretty packed, but like down here, it's not so bad. So just be mindful of that. Okay. All right, so they do have a, a neat little ladder you can climb up. Well, I guess the monks climb up when they have to do some maintenance or something. Mm. It goes all the way up to the top. It's a teeny tiny little ladder. No, yeah, thank you. I mistakenly said that the reclining Buddha was at was here, but actually doesn't. So we're actually gonna hop back across the river, go to the reclining Buddha, and then we'll end the walk there. Sound good? Okay. All right. Uh, do you know the name of the Wat with the reclining Buddha? I think it's Wat Pho, P-H-O. Thera, P-H-R-A. Fra? Fra. Wat Fra, maybe? Sorry, I really don't know how to oh. pronounce it. Oh, okay, well they, Wat Fera Kumpen, okay. But it looks like they, they also say it's just Wat Fo, yeah, P-H-O. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we are going to leave Wat Arun and head over to Wat Fo uh, and go to the reclining Buddha. All right, and we're going to see if we can take the um, the local ferry too and yeah. see if that's any cheaper. Yeah, we, we literally just have to go straight across the river, just like yeah. straight, not up, not down, just straight. All right, let's go. All right, so we just got on the local ferry. It's going to take us right across the river. This was five baht per person, so ten baht total versus the thirty baht or sixty baht total that we spent on the last one. So. Um, definitely the last boat was a little bit nicer, but just getting across the river. I mean, we were on that last boat for like two minutes, so for, I mean, what's that, like 30 cents or something for both of us? Like 15 cents a piece to get across the river? Let's go. Oh, well, that was a short trip. So, oh boy. All right, so riding the local ferry was, that was an adventure in itself. Mm -hmm. Definitely a big quality difference from what we rode earlier. But I mean, the other one had us climbing over sandbags too. This one, it was just very interesting. But you know, hey, it did the job and absolutely, I would ride that again. It was worth, totally worth 15 cents, five baht, just yeah. for the experience. You know, it definitely felt a lot more authentic. Yeah. You know, and something smells good. I smell some shrimp. Hmm. I'm getting hungry. Yeah, so it was the one that we saw on the way over the palace. We said, that's it right there. So we weren't wrong that this is where the um, reclining Buddha is. Yeah, and there's the palace. We were late. We were yeah, just the there. palace is right there. So it's literally right across the street. All right, let's not get run over. All right. Thank you. Wat Fao. Fo open every day till 6 p.m. But I never had just like, I've never seen like a pomegranate just open like that in the first place, but I've never had pomegranate juice, I don't think either. You have. You just don't know you have to yeah. had it. But it's like, I mean, she's making it right there. Yeah. You can't get any fresher than that, so. It's 40 baht, a little over a dollar. We're gonna give it a shot. It's good, it's cold. Yeah, good. A lot colder than that water we just had. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Tasty. A little vegetal, so that's all right. I like it. We bought our tickets. Um, so they're 200 baht each. Mm -hmm. So it's 400 baht for the two of us, so Oh, uh, it's a little, like $12 or something like that. Yeah. Around there. Okay. Um, yeah, so now we're going to see the reclining Buddha. All right. Kitty. Oh, hi, baby. I would love to pet you, but I don't think you would like me petting you. I'm surprised you're not trying to pet her. I know. Hi, baby. I miss puppy and kitty. Right, so here's the head Buddha. He is relaxing all the way down there. One thing I will say about all the temples here is that they are all very ornately painted and designed. The details are just amazing. It's disrespectful to film the monks, so we're not going to film it, but directly behind me there's actually a monk on a scaffold who's hand painting the wall and doing touch-ups on it. It's pretty neat. Is that like Mother of Pearl? 
I mean, whatever it is. I think it's what I'm It's beautiful, yeah. Mm -hmm. And look at the intricate details on that. I mean, this yeah. is the bottom of his feet and the amount of effort that went into this and the, like, even the little rings mm -hmm. on his toes. What did you think of the reclining Buddha? I think it was cool. Yeah, it was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. It's huge. I mean, obviously he's reclining because he couldn't stand up in there for sure. Mm -hmm. He had to build it way bigger. <laughs> Put them outside like the Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. There's a pretty little koi pond. Oh goodness, it's a huge gong. I felt that in my chest. <laughs> okay, so this is a pretty koi pond. Yeah. There's some banana trees. There's little tiny nanners up there. Mm. And a nice little uh, waterfall. Your orchids? Orchids. You sure this isn't Florida? <laughs> For a donation, you can strike the biggest gong that I've ever seen, so I'm not going to pass up on that opportunity. How much is it? It says for a donation, so I'm going to give him 20 baht. Okay. I see some other 20s in there, seems to be going, the going rate. Okay. All right, just like, don't break it. I'm not going to slam it, but... You recording? Yeah. See the thing vibrating? Yeah, I can I can feel it from here. Oh, you can see it from up here, yeah. though. Yeah. All right. Okay. Wow. Mm, that thing's a. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Big subwoofer. Yeah. All right, so here are your pro tips for palace and temples in Bangkok. I'd say uh, number one is you definitely can do both major temples and the palace all in one day. It was super easy to get through. I uh, would just def definitely recommend doing the palace first because it closes earliest. And then you have until about six o'clock to hit up the two temples. Pro tip number two is definitely recommend taking the local ferry. Not only is it cheaper, it's also more authentic. And if, you know, if you're here for the culture anyways, it's good to be immersed amongst the people. And pro tip number three is just be respectful whenever you're in any of the temples. Uh, make sure you dress respectfully. The same for the palace. Uh, for men and women alike, that means you need to cover your knees, you need to cover your shoulders. So you need, so you need pants, not shorts. Uh, no short skirts, a uh, longer dress would work for women. Uh, make sure the shoulders and mid you know, midriffs are, are covered. Uh, and then whenever you go inside, remove your hat and remove your shoes, and you're all set to go. That's going to do it for us today. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments below uh, which temple was your favorite. Is there another temple in Bangkok that, that you love better than these two famous ones and that you think we should check out? We'd love to hear about it. Let us know in the comments below. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. So as you guys know from uh, Tomb Raider, right? Isn't it Tomb Raider? I don't know. I never played the game. Okay. <laughs> I, I know from Civilization. I announced recording because it was recording. Now it is. Go away. Take some selfies. I was going to talk to you. Oh. No, I wasn't recording any of that. All right, great. So you need long sleeve, pa uh, long sleeve pants. Mm -hmm. And then for a donation, you can strike the biggest gong that I've ever seen. The biggest... No, I almost said dong. <laughs> gong. Okay. Gong, gong, gong. All right, guys. So here's your pro tips for... I guess temples and... Here's your pro tips. <laughs> the kid's going to smack the crap out of that gong while I'm going through this. <laughs> a swing and a miss. Yeah, he missed the gong. Yeah. Yeah. It's like kids a softball, t ball. Yeah. It's not Disneyland, babe. <laughs> Just notice too these little dragon. It's an interesting bird. Yeah. Sorry, I'm all tired. <laughs>